Good morning! <laughs> so today I'm going to show you guys how to make, so what I have right here is like how to, I'm going to make this and fit on this wall. So if you have a projector, I highly encourage you to use that, but I didn't bring mine today. So, whoops, and it's too far away to go get it. So I'm going to have to make this image mirror exactly on this super, super, super large wall. As you can see, this large wall is like, oh, like 12 feet. And this is about two feet. So we're making something go from two feet to 12 feet. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first off, it's really just a bunch of measuring. So what I have here, I went and measured the wall. This is the wall. The wall is 162 inches. So from there to there is 162 inches by 90 inches. So from there to there is 90 inches. And I actually just went ahead and found the very center of the wall and marked it. And you do that just by measuring there to there and then there to there and just finding a center point. So you're gonna start by just finding the very center. And on here, I went ahead and measured a few things and I just found the very center. So I measured this one and this one. You just start with the center. So a little bit of math. So 162 divided by 90 is 1.8. Now, why did I do that? So I needed to define how big this was in comparison to this. And so I just did 162 divided by 90 to get 1.8. Now this board, this whole thing, this map is 37 inches by 25 inches. And so if you divide 37 by 25, you get 1.5 ish. It's actually 1.48. And since that number is different than that one, that can't be right or else our, our lines are going to be off. So I just went in and did 37 divided by 1.8. Yeah, divided by 1.8 and that equals 20. So instead of 25, we're gonna have to make this 37 by 20. So I'm just gonna take off an inch or two and a half inches here and two and a half inches there. So I'm just gonna bring my, oh, this thing in here. Oh. How do you do this thing? So I'm just gonna come in. It's hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> I'm just gonna come in and bring, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that part in. Um, I'm just gonna come in and bring two and a half inches down. So I'm just gonna mark it right there. And then over here, I'm just gonna mark it right here as well. And that's where we're gonna start. So that is essentially going to be the entire wall space measured out correctly. So now, as you can see, I went in and put that two and a half line down and up. So now this space in here, this one that I just mapped out with my finger. Nope, down there, there we go. This is exactly the same dimensions as the wall. So that way, whenever we go to make these other little lines, it won't get all messed up. So now I'm going to, okay, so before I decided I was gonna start recording this, I decided to just map this out. And so I did one line in the center and then I took the middle line of these two areas. So I took the center of the right half and just did a line down here. Same over here, I did the center of the left half and just did a line. Same with over here. And I probably shouldn't have done that one. I probably should have just waited until I did that. But anyway, we're gonna do right here. So, and now I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna take the center of this line. I'm not gonna guess. I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna take the center of this line. So I'll just do it really quick, even though it's hard to do with one hand. I should have brought my tripod today, but I just didn't. Okay, so this is nine inches. So I'm gonna take that four and a half inch mark right there <clears throat> and mark it. Let's see, I'm just gonna mark it really quick. Wait, where'd it go? Like right in there, yeah. <laughs> so let me show you. 
Yeah. So right in there, that four and a half inch mark. I'm gonna mark that and I'm gonna mark it in here too, and here, and here, and I'm gonna do a line down each one. So, and then over here, I'm gonna draw this middle line and then I'm gonna find the center of the wall over here and draw a line and then find the center. So basically, I'm just making a grid that way based on this and then based on the side of the size of the wall. Okay, so we made the, this line, this line, I'm gonna make the center over here, center over here, center over here and there, and then we'll be back. Okay, so now I've got it all gridded out and I'm not just guessing online, so I use a tape measure, a level, and a piece of chalk for this whole thing and a rag if I messed up. <laughs> so what happened here? I found the middle, and then I found the middle of these, and I found the middle of that one and the middle of that one. So you just kind of treat it as each section. And then up in here, I actually, so it's not really even, obviously. So up in here, I actually, so when we started here, and then the middle is right here, I actually just split it into thirds. So for right here to here, I just did two lines instead of the like four or three um, that was over here because it's a smaller space. So kind of do whatever you want, but I just split it up into thirds. So from here to here, I just split it into thirds. And over here, from here to here, I split it into thirds as well. And you're just doing lines. And so now I'm going to take this uh, same idea and put it over here. So grid out and into a system. And I'm sure there's like an easier way to do this on the computer but this is the way I do it. This is what I have with me right now. I don't have a computer. So I'm just gonna start and grid that out. See that center line right there? Just grid out the center line and then I'm gonna find the center over here, center over here. Yeah, so now we did all of the lines. I did them all with this like purple chalk and with a level. <laughs> and we just basically made those lines on here. So now, just starting in the middle or starting in an edge somewhere, I'll probably just start in the middle. I'm gonna take this chalk and I'm gonna draw this box right here. So you guys kind of get the idea from now on. So I'm gonna start in the middle, which is right here. And I'm gonna draw this box right in here. Okay, so I literally just held this thing in my hand the whole time and now it's all you can see mapped out it's really light you don't really need to do a whole lot but I literally just like held it in my hand and shocked with this hand that I'm holding the phone in because I forgot my tripod today <laughs> and just did it just really light marks and that's it that's how you make something small and translate it onto something big like this wall without a projector however if you have a projector use it because I spent like an hour doing this when it could have been done in like 20 minutes, you know? So yeah, that's about the end of the video. Thanks, see you later. <laughs>